Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Bunker Busters are specialized munitions designed to penetrate fortified structures. Equipped with advanced guidance systems, these weapons can be deployed from various platforms and have a larger explosive payload to maximize effectiveness against hardened targets. They play a crucial role in military strategies, allowing precision strikes on critical enemy infrastructure while minimizing collateral damage. The continuous development of Bunker Busters showcases ongoing advancements in technology, influencing strategic calculations and serving as a deterrent in modern conflicts. Tolun Turkish defense giant Aselsan's miniature bomb, Tolun has poised to debut as mass production has commenced following successful development. During the development process of Tolun, Successful firing tests were carried out with the F-16 fighter jets in Turkish Air Force's inventory and Bayraktar Akinci unmanned combat aerial vehicles developed by Turkish drone magnet Baykar. Tulun was developed as an INS GPS-guided ammunition fired from an air platform with a multi-carrying bay and used against hard and soft land targets. With a range of 62 miles or 100 kilometers, Tulun has warhead variants with both penetrating efficiency, capable of penetrating a one meter thick concrete barrier, and particle effect warheads. GBU-28 The GBU-28 is a specialized bunker buster bomb that gained prominence during the Gulf War in 1991. Developed by the United States during the late 1980s, the GBU-28 was designed to address the need for a munition capable of penetrating hardened and deeply buried targets. The GBU-28 gained notoriety during Operation Desert Storm in 1991 when it was employed against Iraq. It was specifically used to target underground command and control bunkers. The GBU-28 is characterized by its ability to penetrate reinforced structures and underground facilities. Its design includes a hardened steel casing to maximize penetration. Equipped with a laser-guided system, the GBU-28 relies on laser designation for precision targeting. This system ensures accurate delivery to the intended point of impact. The bomb is fitted with a 4,400-pound or approximately 2,000-kilogram penetrating warhead. The GBU-28 is typically delivered by aircraft, notably the F-111 Aardvark and later the F-15E Strike Eagle. These aircraft provide the necessary speed and range for effective delivery. Taurus The Taurus KEPD-350 is a long-range air-launched cruise missile developed by Taurus Systems GmbH, a joint venture between MBDA Deutschland and Saab Bofors Dynamics. The Taurus missile was designed to provide precision strike capabilities against a variety of high-value and heavily defended targets. Development began in the late 1990s, and it entered service in the 2000s. The missile has a range of around 310 miles or 500 kilometers, and is known for its long-range capabilities. It can fly at subsonic speeds to enhance its ability to penetrate enemy air defenses. The Taurus is equipped with a sophisticated guidance system, including inertial navigation, terrain reference navigation, and GPS, to ensure high accuracy in hitting the target. The dual-stage 1,100-pound or 480-kilogram warhead features a pre-charge and initial penetrating charge to clear soil or enter hard and deeply buried targets, such as hardened underground bunkers, then a variable delay fuse to control the detonation of the main warhead. GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb The GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb, or SDB, is primarily designed as a 250-pound or 113-kilogram precision-guided munition for engaging a variety of targets, but it is not specifically classified as a bunker buster. However, due to its precision and penetration capabilities, it can be employed effectively against certain hardened and fortified structures, including bunkers. The GBU-39 is a compact munition with a smaller size and weight compared to larger bunker busters. Its smaller profile allows for multiple munitions to be carried on a single aircraft. The bomb is equipped with an inertial navigation system and a GPS system, providing precise guidance to the target. This accuracy is crucial when targeting specific points within bunkers. The bomb is designed to destroy a variety of targets, penetrate over 4 feet or 1.2 meters of steel reinforced concrete while inflicting minimum collateral damage from ranges of 69 miles or 111 kilometers. 
The small diameter bomb's smaller size and weight contribute to its cost-effectiveness, making it an attractive option for military planners aiming to optimize resources while maintaining precision strike capabilities. Raphael Spice The Raphael Spice, or Smart, Precise Impact, Cost Effective, is a family of precision-guided munitions developed by the Israeli defense company Raphael Advanced Defense Systems. SPICE munitions are designed to provide accurate and effective targeting of a variety of objectives. The SPICE munitions are designed with a focus on deep penetration capabilities. They have the ability to penetrate hardened or fortified structures, including bunkers and underground facilities. The SPICE family includes different variants, such as SPICE 1000, approximately 1,000-pound class munitions, and SPICE 2000, approximately 2,000-pound class munition. Each variant is designed for specific roles and target types. The SPICE munitions have been used by the Israeli Defense Forces in various conflicts. They have demonstrated their effectiveness in real-world scenarios, showcasing their precision and ability to engage targets with minimal collateral damage. B-6111 The B-6111 is a bunker buster variant of the B-61 family of nuclear bombs designed specifically to penetrate and destroy underground enemy bunkers and structures. The B-6111 is engineered to penetrate hardened and deeply buried targets, including underground bunkers. Its design enables it to reach and destroy targets that may be shielded from conventional munitions. The distinguishing feature of the B-6111 is its earth-penetrating warhead. This specialized design allows the bomb to burrow into the ground before detonating increasing its effectiveness against underground targets. Similar to other bombs in the B-61 family, the B-6111 features an adjustable yield. This allows for flexibility in tailoring the explosive force to the specific requirements of a mission, reducing collateral damage while maintaining effectiveness. It's important to note that the B-6111 is a nuclear weapon, and its use is governed by strict regulations in international agreements. Its deployment would be in the context of nuclear deterrence and strategic defense. KTSSM KTSSM, or Korean Tactical Surface-to-Surface -surface Missile, is the all-weather guided missile system that has reached a pinpoint strike with anti-jamming GPS receiver. It is operated via ground launching systems able to control and fire various guided missiles. The GPS-guided KTSSM is capable of penetrating hardened underground bunkers and tunnels. The South Korean Hanwha Corporation led its development in partnership with the state-funded Agency for Defense Development. It can strike a target up to 112 miles or 180 kilometers away within 2 meters or 6.5 feet. Four missiles can be fired simultaneously from a fixed launch pad. The new upgraded KTSSM-2 is likely to have a range of 186 miles or 300 kilometers. AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon The AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapons, or JSAW, is part of a family of low-cost, air-to-surface glide missiles manufactured by Raytheon. It was developed primarily for the U.S. Armed Forces. More than 400 JSAWs have been used in combat operations of which more than 300 missiles were launched during Operation Iraqi Freedom. The AGM-154 was also deployed in Operation Desert Fox, Operation Southern Watch, NATO's Operation Allied Force, and Operation Enduring Freedom. The Bunker Buster variant of the JSAW is equipped with a hardened penetrator warhead designed to breach fortified structures. This warhead type allows the JSAW to penetrate the target before detonating. The JSAW has a range of several tens of miles, depending on the variant. Its versatility makes it suitable for engaging a wide range of targets, including enemy defenses, armored vehicles, ships, and bunkers. GBU-57AB Massive Ordnance Penetrator The GBU-57AB Massive Ordnance Penetrator, or MOP, is a U.S. Air Force precision-guided bunker buster bomb developed to address the need for a munition capable of penetrating fortified and deeply buried targets. The GBU-57AB is one of the largest non-nuclear bombs in the U.S. arsenal. Weighing around 30,000 pounds, or 13,600 kilograms, the GBU is one of the heaviest conventional munitions in the world. Its size contributes to its ability to penetrate deeply buried targets. 
The bomb features a thick, hardened steel casing designed to withstand the stress of penetrating layers of rock, concrete, or soil before detonating its explosive payload. The GBU-57 is typically carried and delivered by long-range bombers, enhancing its flexibility in deployment and ensuring it can reach targets located at significant distances from the point of launch. Designed to reach targets buried as deep as 200 feet or 60 meters underground, the GBU-57 addresses the need to neutralize facilities that are well protected against conventional munitions. Rockets on Somme Standoff Missile, or SOM, is Turkey's first indigenous long-range autonomous high-precision air-to-surface cruise missile. The missile is highly effective against moving land, surface targets, high-value stationary targets, strategic assets, shelters, exposed aircraft, aircraft hangars, and command and control centers, as well as sea surface threats. It has resistance against countermeasures as well as clutter effects. Well, the primary role of SOM missiles is not specifically as bunker busters. They may have the capability to engage fortified structures to some extent, depending on the warhead configuration. The missile system weighs 1,322 pounds, or 600 kilograms, and is equipped with a 507 pound, or 230 kilogram blast fragmentation and dual stage tandem penetration warhead. The standoff missile is powered by a turbojet engine and has a range of more than 111 miles or 180 kilometers. It is operable under all weather conditions and also in hostile environments. Some variants of the SOM missile have terrain-following capabilities, allowing them to fly at low altitudes following the contours of the terrain to avoid detection by enemy radar systems. Well, that's all friends, thank you for watching, and write in the comments which of the bunker busters you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.